multiply the rational expressions and leave the result in lowest terms. The way I like to start these is to cancel out common factors for just the numbers first and then deal with the binomials afterwards. So let's see, we could do uh, 98 and 14. So 14 goes into 98, leaving us a 7. And then we've got a 7 here on the bottom and a 7 on top. And we always want to cancel something top to bottom. It doesn't matter if it's diagonal or not. As long as it's something in the bottom is canceling something in top when we've got multiplication going on. And that leaves a 1 and a 1. So now for the numbers, we've got 2. And no other numbers are left to cancel out. So let's rewrite what we have now. It's being multiplied. R plus S squared. All right, now looking at the binomials, I see that I have an R plus S on top and two R plus S's on the bottom. So I can cancel one on top with one on the bottom, leaving me one on the bottom. It's really tempting here to cancel the 5 minus T and the T minus 5, but we can't cancel them because they're not identical. They have to be identical factors. But we can rewrite this one so that it looks like T minus 5. So first of all, to see the transition, reorder these so t comes first and 5 second, so we have the same order as this binomial. Now when you reorder something, take the sign in front of the term with it. So if I move the t to the front, the negative comes with the t, and the 5 has a positive in front of it, so it would be minus t plus 5. But if you notice, this is a minus t, this one appears a plus t, this one's a plus 5, this one's a minus 5. The signs are opposite. So if we want opposite signs, what we can do is factor out a negative from this guy, and it turns into, switching the signs on the inside, minus t minus 5. Now we have t minus 5, t minus 5. But first, let's just rewrite it so we can uh, get see what's going on with a little bit less visual clutter here. So we have a 2 over minus t minus 5 times t minus 5 squared all over r plus s. t minus 5 on the bottom, one of them, cancels with one of them on top, leaving one on top. Don't forget this minus sign hanging out. We don't want to forget about it when we rewrite what we have now. All canceling is done, so when multiplying fractions, first you cancel out whatever you can, then you multiply right across the top, right across the bottom. So our result is going to be 2 times t take away 5 all over r plus s, and I'm going to leave this minus sign here out in front of the entire fraction. If you like, you can also put it up top with the numerator. It's not incorrect to write it on the bottom, but if you put it on the bottom with the denominator, make sure you put a parenthesis around the denominator to show that it multiplies the entire denominator. And generally, it's a lot easier to work with future math if you either put it in front or keep it with the numerator. So that would be our final answer.